I work as a server and I deal with people all day, every day, and at least 95% of those people are actually pretty great people. The other 5% sadly are not made of the same people. Um, and that's actually what makes a job like that much harder. They range from the entitled to like the clueless. For example, it's like five minutes before closing again, my coworkers and I are trying to prep for closing. But you already know how most people show up to stuff their fat faces. I'm trying to process it in my head how someone thought it was a good idea to be an annoying person tonight. I get that we're still technically open, but why does your entitled self think it's okay to make my minimum wage job that much more difficult than it needs to be? <laughs> Motherfucker. Hey guys, how's it going? Um, hey guys, are you like still open? Yeah, but we're closing in five minutes. Okay, cool. We'll like totally for sure eat here. Fuck. What? What did you just say? Oh, nothing, nothing. Uh, what can I get you? Eat a dip. It's almost like no one ever taught them how to act like a regular human being inside of a restaurant. But one of the worst parts is the kids that run around the restaurant and they're not trying to trip us over. But it's almost like they are because they'll like run right past you and we're trying to carry these plates like usually like three or four at a time and if they just happen to drop they're gonna get a little pissy if we drop them like right on their head and then break their skulls oh and then we have the people that do this shit. okay take this number to your table and we'll get your food out all right who had the nachos nachos with black beans and chicken okay how about the burrito with grilled fish you see, it's moments like these that grind my gears so hard. It's almost like I have to play a game of Clue with these people because whoever ordered the food doesn't claim it and someone else has to claim it for them because they just suddenly forget. Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones showed up. Good afternoon. Please give your attention to my associate, Agent J. He's going to demonstrate an electro-biomechanical neural transmitting zero synapse repositioner. We call it the Neuralizer. Erase their memory of the order like 10 minutes ago. Yeah, thanks a lot. Thank you, Agent K. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you will, look right here. Anyways, I still try to do my job as best as I can, but it's just something about these people, man. Just something about them. People are rude. 